So to solve this equation with fractions, the first thing we're going to want to do is try to get rid of the fraction. Because let's be honest, how many 8th uh, graders, ninth graders really do like to work with fractions? Margo is the only one. Except that's a lie. Okay, except it's a lie. So <coughs> what would be the common denominator? If, if we could find a common denominator for these fractions and multiply both sides of my equal sign by that common denominator, I'm willing to bet the, common, the uh, denominators will disappear. Let's, let's see what happens. So if I were to add 1 third and 11 over x together, what would the common denominator be so that that would allow me to do that problem? Michael? 3x. It would be 3x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything in this equation by that common denominator. So I am going to have 1 third, and I'm going to multiply it by that, uh, well, what, what will I have to multiply 1 third by to get a denominator of 3x? X. x. So I'm going to multiply oh, the numerator and the denominator by x. OK. So then I have my plus, and I have my 11 over x. What will I have to multiply 11 over x by to get a denominator of 3x? Sir? 3. 3. So I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3, right? Oh my gosh, this makes so much more sense to Then I'm, oh, you know what? Did you do something? Well, I'm going about it somewhat backwards. And then. I still have my equals. I have my 4. What would I multiply 4 by to get a common denominator? 3x. 3x. So I'm going to multiply this by 3x over 3x. So if I were to, to find common, uh, a common denominator, this is what I would do, right? And so if I were to to go ahead and uh, you know, go further, I'd get x over 3x plus 33 over 3x is equal to 12x over 3x, right? Mm -hmm. And then, then I could, could figure it out, right? Yeah. Wait, how? So, hold on. Relax. So I know that. When my common denominators, or when my denominators are common, what do I do with the numerators in an addition problem? Just delete, just add them. Just add them. So I know that x plus 33 is equal to 12x, right? Uh huh. So I know that x plus 33 is equal to 12x. Well, what, how am I going to solve this problem? Wait, so you could just take out the denominators. I'm just looking at the numerators because the denominators are all the same. So I, when I have a fraction where the denominator is the same, I just add the numerators, right? And the denominator stays the same. So what do I do to get the x by itself? This is one of those problems you've been doing for years. Fence. Fence. So I'm going to differentiate the two sides of the equal sign. Now what am I going to do? Subtract the x. Subtract x. Subtract x. I get 33 is equal to 11x. What do I do now to both sides? Divide by 11. Divide by 11. And x equals 3. So <coughs> that is a way of dealing with these problems using what you know about adding and subtracting fractions. So the process, the process is the same. Now, I would be lying if I didn't tell you there was a quicker way. Yes. So the reason why I showed it to you this way is I want to relate this problem to adding and subtracting fractions that you've done in the past. But there is an easier way, and I'll show you the easier way right now. So we know the answer is going to be 3, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select it. I'm going to minimize it here. Yes, Sarah? 
It, was it just a coincidence that the was three, like the answer was three, and like the least common denominator was like uh, Yes, that, that was a coincidence. Oh. OK. So here's another thing that I could do. Remember how earlier I said that you could multiply and divide anything you want to one side of an equation, as long as you do the same thing to the other side? Yeah. So this time, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equal sign by my common denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this side here by 3x. I'm going to multiply this side by 3x. Is this within the rules of playing the game? Uh, yeah, OK. So if I distribute this out, I'm going to have 3x times 1 third. What's 3x times 1 third? 1. Over 9x. 3x over 3. We're going to simplify in a second. 3x times 11 is 33x over x. Three, uh, 4 times 3x is 12x. But wait a second. Can I reduce anything in here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The 3's cancel out. So I have x plus, can I reduce anything here? The x's cancel out. Sorry, the threes, the x's cancel out here. 33 is equal to 12x. Notice how this is the same expression that I had earlier. It is the exact same expression as I had right here. I see how it is. Hello. There we go. So. This is a quicker way to get to the same, same uh, solution. So let's take a look at the second problem, and we'll just do it the quicker way. We'll just do it the quicker way. So if I'm looking at, if I'm looking at 2a over a plus 3 over 2a plus, uh, is equal to 7 over 6, What's my common denominator going to be? What is my common denominator going to be? Sophie? Wait, actually, I thought it would be like 6. 6? 6 what? 6a. 6a. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything on this side by 6a. 6a. Wait, wait. I'm going to multiply this side by 6a. Could you just explain why it's it's 6, 8, well, geez, because 2 goes into 6. Uh -huh. So 6 is the largest number in the denominator, and 2 is a factor of 6. This does not have an A, therefore it needs to have an A. OK? So let's go ahead and multiply this together. So we have 2 over A times 6A plus 3 over 2a times 6a, and that's equal to 7 over 6 times 6a. Oh. All right. Can I, can I reduce anything here? Yeah. Well, what can I reduce? What, what, what can I reduce in this part right here? A. Hey. A. A divided by a is 1. So I'm left with 2 times 6, which is? So what can I reduce here? A. The A goes into A once. What about 2 and 6? Yep. So 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 6 how many times? Three. So I'm left with 3 Five. times 3, which is? Nine. What can I reduce here? Six. So I have 7 times A. All right. So I have 7a is equal to 21 or 12 plus 9. I got ahead of myself. 12 plus 9 is? 20, uh, 21. So 21 is equal to 7a. What Divided by 7. Divided by 7. 3 equals a. Now, incidentally, the answer will not always be 3. It just sort of happens. And so that is basically how you find, uh, solve variable expressions with fractions.